Today we will be setting up and doing our germ experiment using bread and mold. The supplies that you would need for this experiment is four pieces of bread. We highly recommend that you use fresh baker's bread for faster results. A permanent marker to write on your Ziploc bags, four Ziploc bags, and some gloves or tongs. So I'm starting here with fresh baked bread. And then I'm going to slice the bread. Notice I put my hands in Ziploc baggies. I didn't have any gloves at my house, but I wanted to make sure that no germs from my hands would get onto the bread. Before I got started with the experiment, I labeled each one of my Ziploc baggies. I labeled one control, I labeled one dirty hands, I labeled one hand sanitizer, and then I labeled one soap. So the first thing I did was not touching the piece of the bread or the Ziploc baggie. Um, using my gloved hands, I put the control piece into the Ziploc baggie so nothing had touched it. And then I went around my house and I touched frequently touched areas like the doorknob or the light switch or the remote or our sink or my cell phone or my laptop. And then I went and pressed my dirty germy hand all over a piece of bread and then put that one into a Ziploc bag. Then I went and got hand sanitizer on my hands. Make sure you rub the hand sanitizer until it is dry. If you leave it and touch things while it's still wet, it's going to spread germs just like wet hands. Then I touched that dry sanitized hand all over the piece of bread. And then I put that into a Ziploc bag. <laughs> then I went back around and retouched all those frequently touched places all around my house again. And then I washed my hands for 20 seconds. You can even sing the ABCs if it helps you to pay attention to the time. Notice the 20 seconds was the amount of time I had the soap on my hands, not the full time I was washing my hands. And then I went and touched my last piece of bread with my clean hands. I pressed all over the bread and then put it into the Ziploc baggie. Then we waited two weeks to see what would happen. I was very proud of my control bread because no mold grew on it at all, which tells you that if you freshly bake bread and put it away without anything touching it, it can stay good for over two weeks. So then I was curious about how my dirty hands, my hand sanitizer, my soap hands all turned out. And the results were disgusting. The dirty hand bread was completely covered in yellow and green mold. The hand sanitizer made me feel a little bit better because it wasn't completely covered in mold, but there were still some yellow and green mold spots on it, which meant that the sanitizer didn't kill all of the germs. The soap one made me feel so much better. There was only one spot of mold on the entire soap piece of bread. So there you have it. The soap did the best job. Of course, I made sure I kept the soap on my hands for at least 20 seconds before I rinsed my hands off. The hand sanitizer did better than nothing. And then of course, the dirty hands were just downright disgusting. So I guess if you learn nothing else from this, it's wash your hands. <laughs>